So you guys, it's that time again. I am back with my body care and perfume tray. This is where I show you guys all of the perfumes that I'm going to be using in addition to the body care that I am using in my project so that I can layer and pair things together. That way I'm getting use on all of my beautiful perfumes that I have in my collection along with the body care that I'm trying to use up and get rid of. So I did add a lot of things into this project because I wanna up my usage and really get things out of my collection as well as be able to have some time to play around with the things that I have in my collection for just for fun, for layering, or you know, just to enjoy the scents that I bought. So I did add a lot of things in this project, but I'm already doing quite well. This video is about a week behind. I usually like to film my project use it up video and then turn right around and film this video so that you guys can see what I will be using before I start actually using it and pairing it with things and layering it together. That didn't quite happen this time and it's been about a week and I've already pretty much used up two fragrances. I'm already on it and really getting things out. So like I said, there's a lot. So let's just jump right in. So the first set that you guys see is my French Lavender and Honey set. So I do have the Shower Gel, the Fine Fragrance Mist, and then the Lotion. So as you guys can see from the use not too much is gone from this fragrance but I do have a long ways to go with this one but I think I'm gonna really enjoy it because I have come to really like this scent I feel like it's a very classy feminine pretty type of scent so I wanted to pair that with a perfume that I feel like is classy pretty feminine so I'm gonna be pairing that with Lancome's Edol now this is a perfume that I don't use often as you guys can see she has no dent for real this is the 50 ml Yes, this is the 1.7 50 ml bottle. I have not really shown it any love, but it definitely goes really, really well with French lavender and honey. Again, this is like um, a clean, delicate, floral, timeless, classy type of perfume. So I do want to go ahead and pair that with French lavender and honey. I'm actually going to put it behind the tray because it can't actually stand up on its own that is what i will be using with that so the next body care set that you guys see is my black raspberry and vanilla so this is my shower gel my spray and then i'm using the blackberry and basil body cream um, I wanted to use that up because I don't have anything else in my collection, blackberry and basil, and it does pair really perfectly with black raspberry vanilla. This is literally just like a dark, fruity, juicy, kind of tart, sweet scent. So I will be pairing that, of course, with my Dolce & Gabbana Rose. Now, this scent is so perfect with black raspberry and vanilla. It is unreal. And I think that's because this is also a fruity type of rose. Like, this isn't just a powdery floral rose. So in the top notes, it does have um, some red currant, apple, citrus. And I feel like those give it a little bit of a tartness, like a tart, sweet, fruity rose. So that goes perfectly with black raspberry vanilla. Just try it out. Try the combination out. And I promise you won't be disappointed. So um, when I use up that set, I want to go ahead and use that perfume. That is a little 30 ml bottle. So it shouldn't be too hard for me to either complete that perfume or get really, really close to completing it while I'm using that fragrance. Now let me show you guys a set that I've actually been using. I'm almost done with and I'm actually almost done with the perfume as well. I don't think I'm going to finish the perfume by the time I actually finish the body care, but I'll be pretty damn close. I might as well finish out the perfume this year and go ahead and add it to my perfume empties, but be enchanted. So this is my fine fragrance mist and y'all can see I literally have like two uses left of this fine fragrance mist. I also had the body cream in the body cream. I don't even have enough for my full body. I will probably use this on my feet and on my legs tonight, but I really don't have enough for my full body. But um, yeah, I've been killing that scent, obviously, because I love it so much. Um, the Black Cherry Merlot shower gel that I had to go with that is already gone. So yeah, I just have the body cream and the spray left. And of course, I've been mixing that with pink sugar. If you know, you know, this is like one of the layering combos of all layering combos when it comes to me, because this is my man eater combo. This is actually one that um, 
I will be posting about on TikTok because it's just such a compliment getter. It always has been. She is that girl, but yeah, it was like up to here. I probably had about half a pink sugar and now you guys can see where it's at now. So it's literally just a couple more uses of that perfume and it will be gone. So um, even if I don't finish it before I finish up my Be Enchanted, I will still use it with another body care set and probably get it finished up, okay? Um, one more set that I'm almost done with is going to be my Peach Prosecco Macaron. So literally, you guys, I don't know if y'all can see that, but I have a corner of this left. Quite literally, this isn't enough for me to spray on for like all day wear because it's so little. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to hurry up and make this video so I can show that to you guys because, yeah, I'm a week behind in filming this, but... I was layering that with the Tutti Dolce Sweet Lemon Buttercup Body Cream. I really enjoy that body cream. It's literally like a lemony citrus vanilla scent. Like it's sweet, but it does have a little tinge of floral. It's not a full on gourmand, but it's gourmand enough for me, okay? So I was layering those two together for like this lemony peachy pastry treat. And I was using that with my Lolita Lampica Lolita Land perfume because this is also like a lemony, peachy, citrus, um, creamy vanilla gourmand fragrance. So it's like the perfect combination. So that's what I was going to be using with that body care set, um, Sunset Glow. I'm also bringing this onto the tray. Sunset Glow is a really, really nice transitional fall scent. I feel like I always overlook it, but not this year. I'm not playing this year. I'm going to actually use it to transition into fall, and it smells so good. I've been sleeping on this scent. It smells so good. Like, that cherry seltzer note is just, it's yummy. I'm not going to lie. It's really, really good. So, I will be mixing that with my Pepe Jeans London. I know I asked you guys what perfume I should mix with Sunset Glow, and y'all picked the uh, Coach Dream Sunset. But honestly, I wore this combination, like the Pepe Jeans London Fragrance and Sunset Glow, and it is perfect together. Even though Pepe Jeans London is not the same scent notes as Sunset Glow. The Pepe Jeans London Fragrance is like vodka and almond, marshmallow, vanilla. It's different, but I promise y'all, when you pair them together, you'll see why I put them together. They are fire, okay? Like, really, really good. So moving on, I did bring in Ice Lemon Pound Cake set. I have the Body Cream and the Fine Fragrance Mist. My tray is already full, you guys, so I'm going to start putting items off to the side because, like I said, I added a lot. So Ice Lemon Pound Cake, no rhyme or reason for this scent. It's just so yummy and decadent. It's an Ice Lemon Pound Cake for real. I love the sugary glaze icing of this scent. It's just delicious okay and of course i'm going to be pairing that with my italian cello perfume from okja i wanted to pair this with something different to make it a little bit more unique and not just like a gourmand lemon pound cake type of fragrance but honestly i don't want to stay away from this perfume i really want to use this perfume and what better combination to use it with than um ice lemon pound cake so i love this this is just a 30 mil so i might end up flying through this scent but it is just so good. It's a lemony, cinnamony, you know, kind of spiced lemon pound cake scent in my opinion. So I love it. So that's what I'm going to be pairing with ice lemon pound cake. Okay, another combination that I brought on is using the Tree Hut Vanilla Body Butter. I also brought in the scrub, but um, that's in my shower. I'm not bringing that onto my actual tray. But I did bring in the Tree Hut Vanilla Body Butter, and I have been using a ton of this. It's so good. I just, I love it. It's super, super soft. It smells like vanilla pudding. If you are familiar with vanilla pudding, that's literally what this smells like. It's super, super soft and dainty and delicate. I love using this for bedtime and I love the little shimmers that you get on your skin from this. They are dispersed so evenly throughout the body butter, you won't even be able to see it. I just love the way that it glistens on my skin. And y'all know I'm usually not a fan of super fine shimmer. I like to glow and be glittery. I like chunky glitter that you can see from a mile away, but this is not that. This is very, very refined. Um, soft shimmer but I do love the way that it's dispersed in this product so I brought that in and I'm going to be using coconut candy apple from Bath and Body Works along with that and I've already used like about this much of this scent you guys so I'm I've been using this one and really enjoying it it is so yummy the apple in here is crisp but it has like a soft coconutty sweetness to it 
it is so good so i'm going to be using that and then i'm going to be pairing that with my britney spears rocker femme fantasy and you guys can see the juice kind of moving around i'm like right here on this fragrance so i haven't used too much of it which is why i want to put it on my perfume tray to get more use out of it with coconut candy apple because i really do like that pairing together if you guys don't know it's similar to the original but it also has a coconut note so take out the kiwi and add blackberry and coconut and whipped cream it's good. I, I really love that fragrance and it's very hard to find. So I'm happy to have it in my collection as a 100 ml, but I do need to start using it. Okay, and I think the very last fragrance combination that I'm bringing onto the tray is going to be my Sunset Guava Colada Body Cream. So this is older. I've had this for a while and I do not have anything that matches this. So I just have the one product in that scent. And I'm going to be mixing that with my Rosé Champagne. And this is also older, but I do have a backup of Rosé Champagne in like the Faceted Collection. So I wanted to pair those two together because as they still give off a summery vibe, but it's a little bit leaning into fall in my opinion, especially with Rosé Champagne, because I start getting into like my darker, more fruitier wine, champagne type of scents for the fall time. So I feel like this is nice to transition me over and it pairs really, really nicely with sunset guava colada because this is more of like your tropical drink type of scent so i'm going to be pairing those together and then i'm going to be using my original britney spears fantasy and as you guys can see i literally have like the tiniest bit of this fragrance left this is just a 30 ml bottle so i should be able to get this out fairly quickly and that will be yet another perfume empty for my empties video so that is everything you guys those are all of the things that i'm bringing on to my body care and perfume tray for the rest of september how much of this do y'all think i can get through i think i can get through a good bit of it because if you look at these fragrances a lot of them are almost gone already like coconut candy apple has a big dent in it um, Peach Prosecco Macaron is already almost gone. Be Enchanted is already almost gone. This is where I am on Ice Lemon Pound Cake. It has a big dent in it. Like I feel like I can get through a good amount of these fragrances before September is over. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Let me give y'all an overview of all of the things that are going to be on my tray. It's going to be a little chaotic because everything is not actually on the tray. But let me just show y'all. All right, you guys. So this is a nice overview of everything that i am bringing on to the tray perfumes and body care included it's a lot okay it's a lot but i'm super happy with my perfume and body care tray super excited to get into these scents and start transitioning into fall october i am gonna go full-on fall so just expect that but i hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video if you did go ahead and give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it if you're new you should definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button join the fragrance and beauty army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that i upload a video and i'll see you guys in my next one peace